How's it going everyone? Bear here from Steel Series, and with the release of the Apex 9 TKL and 9 Mini, we're officially dipping our toes into the custom keyboard community. Both keyboards have hot swappable switches, and we have three different types that we're currently offering, tactile, clicky, and linear, that we've partnered up with Gateron to help custom build. So in this video, I want to do a quick unboxing of the keyboard itself, then I want to show you how to reinstall new switches, recalibrate your keyboard, and at the end we'll do a sound test. Okay, so in your box, you're going to have your keyboard, your product guide, a braided detachable USB-C cable, and a keycap puller. Now, since chaining the switches is not a requirement, we didn't include a switch puller, so you'll need to purchase an MX-style switch puller separately if you want to upgrade to a different switch. With that being said, in order to enable two-point actuation, we do use a custom switch co-developed with Gateron, so only the SteelSeries OptiPoint switches are tested and guaranteed to work with the Apex 9. So if you do decide to swap out the linear switches that come installed with your Apex 9 for either the tactile or the clicky, let's go over how to install them and how to recalibrate your keyboard after you've done so. First up, you'll need to purchase the new switches from our website. Each box is going to come with 35 switches. So if you're only looking to replace a few switches, you'll only need one box. But if you want to replace each switch on your keyboard, then in total you'll need two packs for the 9 mini and three for the TKL. Now once you receive your new switches, let's go ahead and double check to make sure that the firmware on your keyboard is fully up to date. Now you can't skip this step because if your firmware is not fully up to date, you can't recalibrate your keyboard once you have the new switches installed. So in order to check your firmware, you'll need to open up the GG app. If you don't have that downloaded, you can download it for free from our website. Once it's downloaded and opened up, on the left hand side you'll see an engine tab, go ahead and click that. You should be able to see your device. If there's a critical update message under your device, go ahead and click it and follow the instructions. Once your keyboard is updated, go ahead and unplug it and then use the provided keycap puller to remove the keycaps from your keyboard. Now once you have your keycaps removed, go ahead and grab your switch puller and have the arms on the north and south side of the switch. There are two little tabs that you'll need to push in with the switch puller. Once you have those tabs pushed in, just pull up on the switch and it should slide right out. Go ahead and repeat this process for the rest of the switches that you need. Now once you have all the switches removed from the keyboard, go ahead and grab a pack of your new switches and take one out. You're going to want to make sure that the switch is facing the correct way. The easiest way to tell is that there's a gap on the switch that allows the LED to shine through. So you'll need to make sure that that's on the top or the north facing side. In order to install the switch, go ahead and insert the stem at the bottom of the switch into the hole on your keyboard and push down. You should hear the tabs click into place and you're all set. Go ahead and repeat this process for all the switches that are necessary for you. Reinstall the keycaps and then we'll move on to recalibrating the keyboard. Now that you have the new switches installed, what you're going to want to do is hold down the SteelSeries logo button plus I and O at the same time. Then plug the keyboard back in with the USB-C cable. All of the LEDs on your keyboard should be yellow. This means that your keyboard's in recalibration mode. What you'll need to do is press every single key and the LED should turn from yellow to blue. Now once you've pressed every button on your keyboard, the Steel Series logo, the I and the O will flash red. Hold them down together one more time and then the LEDs on your keyboard should go back to normal and you've successfully recalibrated the keyboard. Now as promised, we'll do a sound test. I'll show you each switch off individually and then installed on the keyboard as well.
All right, everyone. We hope you enjoy the new Apex 9 TKL and Mini. If you have any additional questions, feel free to check out our blog posts or our FAQ page directly on our website. Happy gaming and for glory.